Commissioners, let's take our seats, please. Okay, this uh, November 22nd, 2023, 3.30 p.m. regular session meeting of the Cato Parish Commission is called to order. Um, Michelle, could we have a roll call, please? Hopkins. Here. Johnson. Jackson. Young. Here. Burrell. Jones. Here. Gage Watts. Present. Blake. Here. Atkins. Here. Chavez. Here, Lazarus. Here. We have a quorum. Thank you. Um, Commissioner Chavez, will you do an invocation for us? And Commissioner Epperson, will you do the pledge, please? Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this glorious day that you have given us with. We thank you for all the blessings that you bestow upon us, upon our parish, upon our family. And Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you going into this Thanksgiving holiday season that it's because of you that you have given us everything and the blessings that we have, and we're so thankful for you. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's all face the flag, please. I would like to ask that all military and veterans render the standard hand to brow salute. All others, right hand across your heart. As we repeat the Pledge of Allegiance in unison, please remember our POWs and our MIAs. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation.
salvation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Commissioners Chavez and Epperson. Um, Let's see, do we have any agenda additions today? I'm not aware of any today. Do we have any citizen comments today? Uh, we have, at this point, not received any requests for citizens' comments. All right, do we have any visitors today? No scheduled visitors today. Uh, Commissioner Gage Watts, you're on the board. Thank you, Mr. President. At this time, I would like to move up the special resolutions. Do you want to just do regular session minutes first, and then we'll be at them already? Sure. Okay. So I move to englobo the regular session minutes as well as moving up both of the special resolutions. Okay. Uh, second from Commissioner Epperson. Um, any comments or are we ready to vote? And just for the record, that is uh, a englobo of the minutes and adopting these special resolutions as well. Okay. And that motion carries with eight in support, none in opposition, and four absent. Would you like us to read the yes, resolutions please. in order they appear? Please on? Thanks. Okay. This is a resolution of recognition for Louisiana School Counselor Association's Elementary Counselor of the Year, Mrs. Lamisha Furlow Fleury. And it reads, whereas the Caddo Parish Commission desires to acknowledge and commend individuals whose lives and efforts are devoted to the youth of Caddo Parish and who strive to make a difference in the community by making a difference in the lives of young people who've come into their charge. And whereas such an individual is Mrs. Lamisha Furlow Fleury, counselor at Eden Gardens Magnet School in Shreveport, who has attained the prestigious award of Louisiana School Counselor Association's Elementary School Counselor of the Year for 2023. And whereas as vital members of the education team, school counselors help students prepare to become productive members of society by focusing on social and emotional development. And whereas school counselors work with teachers to help students explore their potential and set realistic goals for themselves, as well as help parents develop ways to further the education, personal, and social growth of their children. And whereas Ms. Fleury is also an accomplished author who uses stories to promote positivity and the importance of spreading kindness. Now therefore be it resolved by the Caddo Parish Commission that it does hereby extend its heartiest expressions of commendation and appreciation to the school counselor, Miss Lamisha Furlow Fleury, for the worthy example she sets for her students to emulate and wishing her much continued success in the future. You all may be seated. Lamisha, we just wanted to recognize you for being honored as the Louisiana School Counselor of the Year, and we're so proud of you and all of your accomplishments, and I'm most grateful that you chose to make Shreveport still your home. So it is important for us to recognize those who choose to stay here and continue to help us go from great to greater. Congratulations. Thank you. Ms. Fleury, would you like to say anything? I just want to say thank you all so very much for the recognition. It's definitely a work of heart, and I'm grateful for my city, for my state, and I am so grateful for my school as well. Eden Gardens Magnet Proud, thank you. And my family, <laughs> all of my family. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Ms. Fleury. Um, on behalf of Caddo Parish, thank you so much for all the work you're doing for our kids for living here and for making our lives better here, uh, many kids at a time. Um, I know that it makes a huge difference to many, many lives. Uh, Commissioner Atkins. Thank you, you, know, thank you, you Commissioner speak. Young. I was just going to reflect uh, your sentiments there. Ms. Floyd, thank you for what you do for our young people, and thank you for your commitment to our community and the sacrifices that you and your family make on behalf of our young people. We're, we're very grateful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you so much, and congratulations. I just want to is this a good time to say hi to them? Absolutely. I just want to greet, um, on behalf of the parish, all the ladies from Zeta Phi Beta, who I see wearing their beautiful royal blue. And we also have, we also have members of the crew of Sobek here. Um, Commissioner Gage Watts pointed me out, so I just want to recognize, recognize all y'all. And members of Morning Star Baptist Church. And members of Morning Star Baptist Church, I'm informed as well. So hello, hello and welcome to all of you. 
and top ladies of distinction are here too. Okay, great. All right. Is that is that every group that's represented here? I hope so. Okay. Um, Miss Dottie Bell from I think the Cattle Parish School Board. <laughs> oh, and and Commissioner Jones, you wish to speak? Yes, just wanted to recognize always Miss Dottie Bell from the Cattle Parish School Board. Oh yes, that's right. I, hi, Miss Bell. Sweet baby. Okay, and um, Commissioner Epperson, do you wish to speak? I'd like to recognize a Grambling night out there with a Grambling t-shirt on. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, so, oh. Is Grambling this a, it's, it's the robbery time. Ms. Bryant, do you wish to speak as well? I'd like to recognize all Southern Knights for the 50th annual Bayou Classic this okay. weekend. <laughs> all right. Okay. Um, now that our recognitions are done, let's move on to the special resolution honoring Judge Pamela Latier. Uh, this one is to be presented at a later date. Okay, yes. so you don't want to read it now. Thank you. Okay, great. Uh, communiques and committee reports. Anyone who wishes to speak, please get on the board. Okay, seeing no one. There's no president's report today. Um, Mr. Clerk, would you like to? Uh, sure, that brings us to. Shall I open this first, or do you want to read it first? Uh, I'll, if I read it, then you can open it. That okay, great. Go uh, ahead. Traditionally, we'll just say uh, it's a public hearing on Cater Parish operating and capital improvement budgets for 2024. Uh, now is the appropriate time to open a public hearing on ordinances number th uh, 6358 uh, through 6385. Public hearing on ordinance number 6358 uh, 63, uh, to 6385 um, is now open. If you wish to speak uh, for or against this, please come forward. No one appears. Public hearing is closed. Okay, that brings us to a public hearing on zoning ordinances and cases. You have three items. Would you like me to read them first and then you can open the? Yes. Okay. Uh, those items, the first item is a public hearing for ordinance number 6393 of 2023. That's in relation to a public zone, I mean, to a parish zoning case uh, number 237-CTAP. That's an ordinance to amend volume two of the Code of Ordinances of the Parish of Caddo as amended the Caddo Parish Unified Development Code relative to accessory structures with all their provisions included herein and otherwise provide with respect thereto. The next item is a public hearing for ordinance number 6394 of 2023, that's related to PCC case 23-15-P. That's an ordinance to amend volume two of the Code of Ordinances of the Parish of Caddo as amended the Caddo Parish Unified Development Code by amending the zoning of property located at the northeast lot of South Lakeshore Drive and Page Landing, Jeff Page Landing Road, Caddo Parish, Louisiana from RA Rural Agricultural Zoning District to OS Open Space Zoning District and otherwise provide with respect thereto. That is in District 12. The next item is a public hearing for Ordinance 6395 of 2023. That is related to PZC, PZC Case 23-31-P. That's an ordinance to amend Volume 2 of the Code of Ordinances of the Parish of Caddo as amended the Caddo Parish Unified Development Code by amending the zoning of property located on the north side of Old Mooringsport Road, approximately 930 feet west of Highway 71 in Caddo Parish, Louisiana from RA Rural Agricultural Zoning District to RAPUD Rural Agricultural Planned Unit Development Zoning District and do otherwise provide with respect thereto that item is in District 2. All right, public hearing for ordinances 6393, 6394, and 6395 is now open. If you wish to speak about any of these ordinances, please come forward. No one appears, public hearing is closed. Okay, the next, uh, items that we need to do public hearings on are our regular ordinances for today and those include a public hearing for ordinance number 6390 of 2023 that is an ordinance amending budget of estimated revenues and expenditures for the e edward jones housing trust fund for the year 2023 to reduce revenues for the emergency rental assistance program and to otherwise provide with respect thereto the next item is a public hearing for ordinance number 6391 of 2023 an ordinance amending the budget of estimated revenues and expenditures for the debt service fund for the year 2023 and to appropriate bond proceeds. The next item is a, a public hearing for ordinance number 6392 of 2023. That's an ordinance amending the budget of estimated revenues and expenditures for the capital improvement three fund and amending the budget of debt service fund for the year 2023 to transfer 2023 bond proceeds to the capital improvements three fund. And the next item is a public hearing for ordinance 6396 of 2023 
That is an ordinance amending the budget of estimated revenues and expenditures for the oil and gas fund and the capital outlay fund in the amount of $35,000 to provide an appropriation for an addition to the I-49 welcome sign and otherwise provide with respect thereto. The next item is uh, 13.5. That is a public hearing for ordinance 6397 of 2023, an ordinance amending and reenacting ordinance 6342 of 2023, establishing and merging precincts consistent with the 2023 Caddo Parish Commission Districts in accordance with the Louisiana Revised Statutes 18 532 and 18 532.1 to amend certain precinct legal descriptions and otherwise providing with respect thereto. Okay. Those are the items for public hearing today under ordinances. Thank you. Public hearing for ordinances 6390, 6391, 6392, 6396, and 6397 is now open. If you wish to speak about any of these ordinances, please come forward. No one appears. Public hearing is closed. Okay. That brings us now to zoning ordinances for final passage. The first item today is ordinance number 6393 of 2023. That's in relation to PZC case 23-7-CTAP. Uh, that's an ordinance to amend volume two of the Code of Ordinances of the Parish of Caddo as amended the Caddo Parish Unified Development Code relative to accessory structures with all their provisions included herein and to otherwise provide with respect there too. Okay. Are we under 16 now? No. We're on 14. No, we're, four, we're at 14. Oh, okay. 14.1. Okay, great. Um, do I see, a, do I have a motion? I see. Uh, Commissioner Atkins moved, seconded by Stormy Gage Watts. Thank Commissioner you. Atkins. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I propose to, in Globo, in advance, ordinance number 6393, ordinance number 6394, and ordinance number 6395. Second. Okay. I should say in Globo and, and adopt. adopt. In Globo and adopt those three ordinances, 6393, 6394, and 6395. Any further comments? No, sir. We can vote. And that motion carries with nine in support, none in opposition, uh, one abstention is what it's. Oh, three absent. I'm sorry, one just showed up. Uh, I'm sorry, thank you. Yeah, one just showed up and, and technically it is an absence. Um, it just showed, uh, appears wrong on the vote before you, but for the record, Roy Burrell's vote is an absence, not an abstention. Um, that brings us to ordinances for final passage, and that uh, first item, 15.1, is ordinance number 6390 of 2023, an ordinance amending the budget of estimated revenues and expenditures for the E. Edward Jones Housing Trust Fund for the year 2023 to reduce revenues for the emergency rental assistance program and otherwise provide with respect there too. Commissioner Epperson? Who's no. to, oh, you're not on the board? Pardon? I thought you made it. You don't have a motion? Well, it's on there. I see. Um, motion in that. Do you, do you want to speak? No. Oh, okay. So we have a, we have a motion and a second. Um, I think we're ready to vote. I'm on the board. Oh, uh, Commissioner Gage Watts. I would like to move to in global items 15.1, 15.2, 15.3, 15.5. Okay. And 18.1, 19.1, 19.2, and 19.3 in global and adopt. Okay. Um, Commissioner Hopkins. Yeah, I would prefer if we take uh, 6396 out. Commissioner Hopkins wishes to exclude from the Anglobo 6396, item 15.4. I'll right accept you? the friendly amendment. Okay. All right. Um, do you have that, Mr. Clark? I do. So that would be, uh, I just want to make sure. It's Anglobo and adopt uh, ordinance 6390, 6391, 6392, and then uh, work session minutes and special resolution 19.1, 19.2, and 19.3. And 97. Yeah, 6397 also, sir. 15. And 6397. Oh, yeah. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Any, any more comments? No. We can vote. 
Okay, and that motion carries with uh, nine in support, three absent, none in opposition. Uh, that brings us now to ordinance, uh, let's see, 15.4, which was ordinance 6396 of 2023 and ordinance amending the budget of estimated revenues and expenditures for the oil and gas fund and the capital outlay fund in the amount of $35,000 to provide an appropriate. I have a motion by Commissioner Epperson, second by Commissioner Gates Watts. Commissioner Epperson, do you wish to speak? No. Uh, Commissioner Hopkins, you're on the board. I didn't come to this committee meeting, not on this committee, but you know, we just spent $130,000 putting welcome signs up at both ends of I-49 and welcoming everyone. And I don't see the need to spend another $35,000. <clears> and I'm not anti-veteran, I can promise you that. My father was a veteran, my father-in-law is a veteran, my son-in-law is a colonel in the Air Force, but it just sent, it just looks like it's not something that's really needed. Um, and so I'm not gonna support this. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Hopkins. Commissioner Chavez. Thanks, President. So I was actually against the initial sign because I thought $100,000 was a, a little uh, exuberant um, to let people know welcome to Cattle Parish. Typically, they got a little green sign that DOT puts out there telling them that we're in Cattle Parish. So I was against that. Uh, I do, however, like that Commissioner Epperson uh, would like our parish to, to say the words veteran friendly. So although I am a veteran uh, and I appreciate that, I'm still cheap, so I don't like that we're going to spend $35,000. i will be voting to approve this because I like the veteran friendly, but I'd like to see it somewhere in the realm of $10,000 because I think we can achieve a plaque that says veteran friendly for $10,000 and not $35,000. And if, if finance or purchasing needs help, getting that down to ten thousand dollars i'll be i'll be happy to find them some local people that could do it for ten thousand as opposed to thirty five thousand thanks president thank you commissioner chavez wants to help cut costs <laughs> okay um looks like that's all the comments we can vote and that motion carries with seven in support two in opposition and three absent uh, that brings us now to uh, section 17, uh, which is ordinances for introduction by title. Uh, in this section, you have 17.1, introducing ordinance 6398 of 2023. That is an ordinance to accept the streets in Northwood Trace Subdivision, Unit 7, New Territory Unit 4A, and New Territory Unit 5 into the Parish of Caddo System and otherwise provide with respect thereto. Uh, that is in District 1. The next item is to introduce ordinance number 6399 of 2023. That's an ordinance to close and abandon a portion of the dedication for Laura Lee Lane, located in section 28 and 29, Township 21 North Range 16 West in the Parish of Caddo, and otherwise provide with respect thereto. That is also in District 1. Uh, the third item for introduction today is ordinance 6400 of 2023. That's an ordinance to deem property surplus and authorize the sale of surplus property owned by the Parish of Caddo and otherwise provide with respect thereto. Uh, and that item is introduced today as well. Uh, that brings us now, uh, since you have already uh, taken care of the uh, next two sections, that brings us, you have no old business scheduled. You have no new, new business. business scheduled. Uh, no, communiques. Uh, to communiques. Mrs. Bryant, you're on the board. Yes, uh, good afternoon, commissioners. Good afternoon. I did want to let you all know uh, you asked for updates on lights in the city of Shreveport. Um, they have informed us that they have led a project for, um, from Lakeshore Drive to the I-49, 220 intersection, um, which is essentially the Cross Lake um, area of the bridge. Um, the contractor has received the materials and has begun the work. Um, it will take, it will be a process. Um, so, but they have begun that process and they're looking at other lights um, in the city. Um, they are aware that there are a significant number that need to be addressed. We've also contacted SWEPCO. There are some lights that are responsibility of SWEPCO and um, getting an update from them and also talk to DOTE about assisting to try to get, um, uh, ramp up the process to get the lights repaired, replaced or, um, uh, new installations, but uh, they're going with the LED lighting on the cross lane bridge. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the update on that, Ms. Bryant. Uh, anyone else wish to speak? Okay, that takes us to citizen comments, late arrivals. Do we have any notices of comment? No. Nope. Received their request. This Thank meeting you. is adjourned. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you.